Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have had a request for some reviews on this channel and wasn't too sure where to start so I decided to just do overall reviews. So I'm going to be doing brand reviews for some of my favourite brands um, and some not so favourite brands. So I'm just going to get started today with my favourite brand ever which is um, I Inglot. I love Inglot. <laughs> it's my favorite store ever um, I guess the first thing that I think of when I think of a brand is customer service when I go into a store so sometimes when I go into stores um, the staff there will just look at you and not do anything they'll just look and go away and I don't really like that whereas when I walk into Inglot um, in Brisbane the staff there are lovely they'll come up to you and they'll ask if you need any help they'll explain things to you they'll give you a makeover um, they're really really helpful and I really appreciate that so I always enjoy going to an Inglot store um, yeah so that's one positive thing um, next I, I really like their eyeshadow system so uh, most of you have probably heard of the Freedom System from Inglot, and it's just, you get the palette, there's nothing in it, um, and there's heaps of different types of palettes. So I got um, a five round palette, um, two ten square palettes, um, one with a powder, a blush, and two other ones. And I have a 20 circle palette as well, and a 20 round pan palette. Um, right, so they all come in this really hard plastic palette um, that has magnetic clasps. And they're really sturdy, they don't come off. Um, I've dropped a few of these palettes before and nothing's broken. You can buy the palette separately. Um, kind of like I've done with this one and just gradually fill it up um, to the top which is really good I need some eyeshadows in here um, I really like this palette especially because it has two eyeshadows and a blush and a powder um, so you can replace this one with a, a contour or something and just fill it up so the eyeshadows once they're put in there, um, you can take them back out and swap them. So I just use like this pointy needle-like tool. Yes, and then it comes out. So all of the eyeshadows have the okay. All of the eyeshadows have um, the Inglot brand name. Uh, what it is? So eyeshadow. Um, it's number because they don't have names. So this one is number 100. And then just the eyeshadows on the front. So this is one of their three-color pans, which costs in Australia $13. Uh, there's quite a lot of them now um, and they fit just the same as a normal one eyeshadow color into the things so I have five I think three shadow <coughs> so I have the normal matte browns which is by far one of my favorite colors um, I have my pinks which is um, shimmery texture um, so it's got like a nice sheen to it I have my purples which has glitter in it, so it's a glittery one. <coughs> and I have greens which has a sheen to it and my blues which has some glitter in it. So those three pan, um, three shadow pans are great because they can contain a whole look so you can use the light one all over the lid as a wash with um, this one in the outer third and this one in the crease and it gives you a perfect well thought out look that you don't need to worry about um, yeah so 
the freedom palette as i said before they've got just a bench and all of their eyeshadow colors so they've got like hundreds of eyeshadow colors and you go and you pick up the ones that you want and you just slot them into the palette yeah so <coughs> this is taking a long time yeah so um i have this powder in 11 the shade 11 and it is a really good powder it is soft and smooth um, it goes on really well it has a color to it um, it doesn't crease or wear off on me um, it's not drying it just it gives that little bit of a little bit of coverage while not being way too much coverage um, yep yeah, I really like that uh, this blush is by far my favourite one from the entire collection. Um, so much so that I accidentally bought it twice. Um, I went in when I bought this palette. And... Oh, I've got to that on my nose. Uh, when I bought this palette and I bought the blush at the same time. And then I bought another palette that was the same um, size as this. But had three eyeshadows and one blush compartment in it. Um, but I gave that to my sister a little while ago. Um, but I bought a blush with that palette as well, and it was the same blush because I wasn't didn't remember what blush I bought the first time. So that's the only problem that I have with the Freedom Palette system. Um, sometimes they do pre-packaged palettes, which is what this is. Um, so it has 20 eyeshadows in it, and they chose the eyeshadows out and packaged it. Um, eyeshadow quality. All of these eyeshadows are amazing quality. Um, the mattes are smooth and creamy and blendable. Uh, the shimmers, they're smooth and blendable, but um, the glitters and the shimmers have a little bit of fallout, which most have. Uh, what else? The, um, the variability of the eyeshadows is great. There aren't really any colours that are like repeated in the collection so I'll get like a nice orange there um pink and they're really really pigmented eyeshadows and they go on really smoothly they're great yeah that's just that one's a gorgeous color yeah So in terms of eyeshadow quality, um, the oh, and price, I guess the individual eyeshadows, these ones, um, they are, I think, ten dollars each in Australia, and they are so pigmented, just like, just a bit color, just one rub around, and you get the most pigmented color ever. So yes, um, they are amazingly blendable. They're really good quality for the price they're buttery smooth creamy perfect and they transfer well as well um, they have a variety of different um, textures so I said matte before shimmers glitters but even the glitters some are really chunky some are really fine glitters um, depending on the eyeshadow, the shimmers, some have a really, really big sheen, some have just a subtle sheen. Uh, yeah, and it's great because you can customise your own uh, stuff, really. Um, other things I have from Inglot, uh, they do nail polishes and, like, they do everything there. Um, but yes, I have this Lip Duo pot, um, which has on one side kind of like a, a clear... Uh, shimmery lip gloss and then on the other side it has like this deep plum with glitter in it and this is really nice I can't put it on now because I just uh, so it's just like a gorgeous color and this um smells really nice it smells like grape which I really like the smell of and it's a little bit sticky but not too sticky uh, it gives you moisture it's very moisturizing and 
it's really pretty. So I do like that. I have um, also the loose version of that powder, which is in shade 11 as well. Um, it comes in a really big pot, which is really good because um, I like applying my uh, powder with a big kabuki brush and it fits into this lid. Whereas um, I have some other powders like this one that have just a tiny lid that the brush like doesn't fit fully in. So I really like that. Um, <coughs> there's lots of different shades. Um, this one fits me pretty well. There's also some translucent powders. What else? There's not much else. They have, um, if you really like colour, they have some really good um, coloured things. So they have like a blue lipstick collection and they've got gold lipsticks collection. So you can get lipsticks in like all these different colours. Um, they have really good body powder, um, body glitters that are really pigmented and really smooth as well. Uh, yeah, I don't have any of those yet. I'm, I'm building up my collection. Um, yeah. That's about all I can say about them. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, Inglot has really good services, um, really, really nice quality pigmented um, eyeshadows. Uh, smooth and creamy um, blush and powder and good variety of stuff and their lipstick stuff is good too yeah I'm gonna stop talking now if you have a brand you'd like me to review please leave the name of that brand in the comment below and I'll see what I can do thanks for watching bye